Well, <clears throat> this is what I mean about working between raindrops. I, I got kind of disappointing. I didn't get any help at all on the what to use on the top of the bench. But you can see what happens and why we got a flood here all around our workbench and going into the shed. Now, what I did yesterday, <clears throat> had to take my wife to the pulmonary doctor yesterday and she fell trying to get into the car. That was a big, 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 big problem. <sighs> Time we got back, the sun was out, of course. Fortunately, it was a beautiful day. Sun was out and... Um, it was about maybe 5.30, time I got back. So I said, the hell with it. I checked the computer, got no help on that. So I got my spray can of white out, and the sprayer wouldn't work. I got it at the uh, thrift store for a dollar, so it was three quarters full, almost totally full, actually. And I, have, I saved the nozzles, and I couldn't get anything out of this at all so what I did is I took this can here this plastic container and I tried everything to get the paint to come out so I even put a nail in and nothing happened so I took an ice pick and hit it on the side and jammed it in there. Fortunately, it didn't get all over me and just left it up like that. Let it, let it all expel the paint. And I got the paint out and I had quite a bit of paint in there. Quite a bit. Enough that I was able to do a very good covering of the edge and all of the areas where I put the caulking. So that's my wood preservative, so to speak. In other words, it worked out really well. Um, the paint went on just like a regular oil base, because it is oil base. You can see all the water around here. This is why everything got wet in there. I hope that now that I added that three-quarter inch, um, a little higher up in there, but as, as I said, there's going to be no problem with anything that's under there, even if it gets wet, because it's only got the car ramps, the jack stands, and scissor jack under there, and the garden hose. So now all my edges have been done. Oh, man, I'll tell you, damn weather. So, you can see the situation here, folks. So, I'll leave that other video up there in case uh, anybody hasn't seen it, but I'm going to leave the comments off on this. I just figured I'd come out here and make this video. I'm going back into the house now. <clears throat> so, that worked out good, and I have other spray cans that no longer spray, and that's a very sloppy way to do it, but I don't know of any other way to get the paint out of a spray can without getting myself hit, and I didn't get any paint on me. I was very, very lucky, but uh, <laughs> that worked out good. Rust-Oleum spray paint. So, anytime you want oil-based paint, just break open a spray can, get it into a container, and brush it on like I did. That worked out really well. And it only cost me a dollar at the thrift store, rather than to throw it out. Because I have a lot of cans that do that. They, and I save all the nozzles from every spray can I've had throughout the years. 
the nozzle was not blocked and each nozzle that I take off, I soak it in paint thinner, make sure it's clear, and then drop it into a little container. I have a little can with about maybe 50 of them in there. And I had about 10 of the type that fit that can there, and none of, none of them worked. So there was like, well, I asked myself, is this can have, uh, is out of expellent? You know, in other words, the gas that's in there? Or is it just clogged? Well, it was clogged because it really let go there when I punched it with the ice pick. I'm going to have to make up something. To, I don't know how what yet. Make up something that I can just put the can in there, let it puncture the bottom, and let it all come out. Well, that's an, that's uh, sometimes you have to do that. You can't get the right paint because you live in a state that don't sell oil-based paint, or when they do, they charge you a fortune for it. This is what you got to do. All right, so I just wanted to come out here and show you the situation that we have here. And this is one of the worst floods we had in a long time. And it was fine this morning when I went out for breakfast. Uh, oh, let's... Let's take a walk over here. Water here in front of the shop, in the shed rather. And over here, but the book is not too bad. No, the book is not too bad. All right, just a little update, folks. That's all. But you can see the area we're in here. I'm going to get back into the house. Throw this video together. Give you something to watch, I guess. All right. So this old goat does what he can do the hillbilly way. Thanks for watching.